we are standing in his symbolic shadow and now we are here to celebrate his uh, 20th Urus Mubarak. In the second day of Holy Urus Mubarak, we are here on the dais of National Integration Conference. Dears, what is National Integration? Or why we have put this title to this conference? This is a common question. Many of you may, be, may ask. The answer is simple. That this is such a time. As far as we people, Indians, especially the Indian minority is concerned. This topic is very important, significant and relevant. The present conditions of India, the present circumstances of India, we are, we were, we were getting aware of this through media day by day. This is not the time of a prolonged speech. I am coming to my point. The India that was in the dream of Mohandas Karanchand Gandhi. The India that was in the dream of Jawaharlal Nehru. The India that was in the dream of Dr. Bhim Brahu Ambedkar. And the India that was in the dreams of thousands of patriotic martyrs who sacrificed their life, death, wealth and health for the emancipation of this land is going to be no more. That India is going to be remain only in dream. That India is going to be remain on the, only in the pages of our history books. That India is going to be remain only in the fables. You know, there was a hin India. On seeing that India, honorable poet, Alama Iqbal had to sing Sare Jahan Se Acha Hindustan Hamara Hum Bul Bulem He Iski He Gulistan Hamara Madhabine He Sikata Apasame Empire Bekina Hindi He Hum Hindi He Hum Hindustan Hamara On seeing that India Honorable Poet who penned our national anthem, Chandaka Namana, Honorable Debin Nathako, had to sing. Where the mind is without fear, and where the head is held high, where the knowledge is free, where the world has not broken into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where the worlds come out from the depth of truth, where the tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into dreary desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Dears, that India is going to be no more. I can say, if India is running in the same track which it runs today, we will lose our India. Today, you know, our popular pledge oath, it's common in our school assembly grounds. India is my country. I love my India. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I shall give respect to my parents, teachers and elders. To my country and my people, I pledge my devotion. In their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness. So, these kinds of thoughts, tomorrow our children, the, the students of next generation will learn, they will find these words from the history books. So, what I am going to say, what I am trying to say, 
is that India is going back to Treta Yuga. Government is meant to protect minority. Government is to scaffold minority. The government has the duty of rendering food, dress, accommodation, peace to minority. The recent movements that is happening in India, taking part in India, banning on cow slaughtering, Garuvapasi movements, most dangerous amendment in the preamble of constitution. These are taking place in India. So, today it is the Good Friday. Same day, there is a conference in Delhi, conference of justice. What, what message it, it does give? Here, minority, minority is, a da, is under the dark shadow of serious threats. So, it is the dais, it is the moment of a rethink, a recall, a retrospection into our golden age. So this conference is called, this conference is organized here to share such views and thoughts. India should not die. India in the dream of Jawaharlal Nehru, India in the dream of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi should not die. Let India not die. Oh brothers and sisters, come forward, shake hands to create such an India. We can take such an oath and we can dream such a fantabulous, fantastic India where head is held high, where knowledge is free, where everyone, irrespective of caste, irrespective, irrespective of creed, irrespective of religion, irrespective of gender, enjoying freedom enjoying same rights so these are these honorables are the leader of the societies the leaders of the societies inshallah if we are united if we have a, a, a clear cut vision a crystal clear vision if we are adamant in our pledge which pledge the pledge handed over by our architectures of the constitution inshallah such a India is possible. This is what we are meant, we have meant by National Integration Conference. Inshallah, our Honorable Dignitaries will speak and comment on the topic and discuss the topic in detail. I conclude my words. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum.